In this short video, I'm going to show you how to disconnect your wallet from a website and how to revoke permissions to your DeFi wallet that may be connected to potentially harmful or malicious smart contracts. You can have your seed phrase secure and still have your funds taken through a malicious smart contract or even an exploit through a trusted smart contract. A quick reminder to be careful with your seed phrase. You will never be asked to put your seed phrase into a website. This is always a scam. The only time you will ever need to enter your seed phrase is when you are the one initiating or restoring your wallet or importing your wallet into a hardware wallet. In my next video, I'll do a short tutorial on how to restore your wallet into a Trezor hardware wallet. The whole point of a hardware wallet is so that your seed phrase never touches a digital device, only the hardware wallet itself. So if you ever need to restore your wallet, it's strongly suggested to always do it via a hardware wallet. The best practices is to never enter your seed phrase into any digital device. If you are dealing with crypto and NFTs, you have to interact with smart contracts and decentralized applications, such as decentralized exchanges or an NFT marketplace. There is a risk where if the smart contract you are granting permissions to is malicious, or if there happened to be an exploit in a trusted smart contract you are already connected to, Essentially, the content of your wallet that you allowed permission to can be compromised. These circumstances are known to be rare, especially if you are connecting to a well-trusted application like Uniswap, but with blockchain, there is never a guarantee that you are safe from such exploits. When we say a user had their funds stolen, technically they were not stolen because the user gave that smart contract permission to access and spend their funds. This is why it is always important to first check the legitimacy and if the smart contract you are connecting to is trustworthy. Secondly, take the time to read the permissions that you are signing. With a hardware wallet, it shows you these permissions on the device, reminding you to double check what it is you are approving first. One good thing to keep in mind here is sometimes it's a good practice to have several personal wallets. For instance, one main wallet to hold majority of the assets, for example, your hex stakes, that never connect to any sites or smart contracts, and an additional wallet to send assets to that you utilize to interact with smart contracts. So if you ever did interact with a malicious smart contract or experience an exploit in a trusted protocol, not all your funds can be lost. Disconnecting from websites is done in your MetaMask. First, open MetaMask, Hit the three dots in the top right hand corner. Go down and click on connected sites. Here you can view all sites your wallet is still connected to and disconnect them. Just remember disconnecting from a website does not revoke the permissions to your wallet that you already granted that smart contract or protocol access to. For revoking permissions, you can do that through Etherscan itself or a useful site that I like is Revoke Cash. In Etherscan, you search your address. In the More Info Square on the right hand side, click on the More tab, then click on Token Approvals. Here you can see the permissions you have open in your wallet and revoke ones you do not recognize or no longer are using. Please always double check what you are revoking as some permissions may need to be active still depending on what type of protocol you have interacted with. Revoke Cash is one of my favorite sites as you can view all approvals on just about every blockchain you have interacted with. You just enter your address you wish to search. As you can see, you can view your NFTs and token approvals. You can revoke permissions directly on the site and view what type of permissions you have granted. An important note to make is it does cost gas fees to revoke permissions. If you are connected to a trusted protocol, but you don't really use that protocol anymore, it is a good practice to revoke permissions granted to your wallet. Infinite spending permissions is something to be weary of, but it's also something that is misunderstood. When you are signing a permission for infinite amounts, you should always be cautious. Verify the protocol is trustworthy and the authenticity of the protocol that you are giving such permissions to. Infinite spend amounts are misunderstood because every time you sign an approval, it costs gas. On chains such as Ethereum, protocols will choose to request infinite spending amounts to save users money. However, this is where checking the legitimacy of the protocol you are interacting with is important because if you approve a permission like this on a malicious smart contract, 
This is when you will have your funds drained. On chains, such as Pulse Chain, gas fees will be so low, you will see protocols choosing to request approvals on every spend, as the user won't be paying crazy amounts in gas fees for these approvals. It is always the best practice by a protocol, where possible, to reduce the exposure to users for reasons such as the possibility of an exploit to their protocol. So to sum up this video, always check the protocol and smart contract you are interacting with is trustworthy. If infinite spending is requested, consider what chain you are utilizing as to why they are requesting this. And again, check the protocol is trustworthy. Always disconnect your wallet from sites. Use a hardware wallet for additional safety and revoke permissions to smart contracts and protocols that you are not familiar with or consider revoking permissions to smart contracts and protocols that you are not using anymore. Always remember with blockchain, there is no undo button and no support team for incorrect spendings or approvals to malicious smart contracts. It only takes a few minutes to check the protocol you are interacting with and its legitimacy and trustworthiness. It also only takes five minutes to hop on a site like Revoke Cash and check the permissions in your wallet and revoke them if they are unfamiliar or unnecessary permissions. Stay safe guys. And if you have any questions, I'll leave a link to our Telegram group below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.